In simple terms, this pandemic has and still is a traumatic event. What is important to know is that after an experience of trauma, transitions can be extremely hard and challenging, and this transition back to school is no exception. One important reality about trauma is that it typically happens when transitions happen. With the COVID-19 crisis, most students went home on a Friday and the teacher said, see you on Monday. But there was no Monday. School shut down and students didn't return back to school. As adults, we understand why and we're able to shift and to adjust. But for most children, they don't have the ability to process such a huge shift in their lives. Some of our children will feel like we abandoned them. They'll be scared that this will happen again. They will enter your classroom with a strong sense of uncertainty. This unprocessed trauma is sure to find its way back into the classroom once students return, and that's why it's going to be so important to be emotionally available to your students. I want to encourage you to be open to anything they say. Some children might be shy and a bit closed down, let them find their right timing. They may need to find their grounding again before they're able to share and express. Never force and don't even encourage too strongly. Just use words such as, I'm just so glad you're here. You can finish this later. Or is there anything I can do to support or help you right now? Be gentle, be loving, be okay with what they are able to share right now. On the other hand, you might have students who disclose way more than what you expect. Try not to be caught off guard. You are asking them to share, and they just might. Be open to hearing what they say. Now, it's not your job to fix them, but rather just connect with them. I like to say, help them maximize their emotions. Help them to let out their feelings, not keep them stuffed inside of them.